I'm a patient of uh, Dr. Francis Price. Um, I have a condition called uh, Fuchs dystrophy. Um, the room you're going into has a, a microscope, and the microscope is one that he uses all the time. My first transplant was uh, completed by Dr. Price in uh, 2007. Um, I had um, I had a second transplant done at the end of 2007, and now some uh, 10 years later, I'm back for a uh, replacement tr uh, transplant in my right eye. And I'd never heard of Fuchs dystrophy, didn't know anything about it. Um, it was completely uh, uh, foreign to me. My uh, uh, optometrist actu actually uh, uh, diagnosed the problem and uh, uh, he indicated that uh, I should go see Dr. Price. And uh, so uh, I immediately learned that uh, Dr. Price is uh, world renowned uh, and I felt very fortunate about that and I came and began to learn about uh, this hereditary problem. Uh, basically my symptom was that I was experiencing vision loss uh, as bad as uh, 2200 and uh, things were cloudy, things were gray. Um, I just I just could not see well and that was very consistent with Fuchs dystrophy. How was your retirement party? It was absolutely oh, terrific. Was uh, very cool. You truly are one of maybe the first. Oh really? Oh this is so, so new medical equipment checking out. Hi, I'm Dr. Price, and we're getting ready to operate on Bob, and he's previously had a DSEC, which has failed, and we're going to go ahead and remove that and put in a new graft. This time we're going to use a DMEC, because this other surgery had been a number of years ago before we were actually doing DMECs. And so his graft had just given out, plus he's had issues with glaucoma that is also harder on the graft. So this new uh, transplant we're going to do, we hope, will be very beneficial for him, not only improving his vision, but minimizing the need for uh, steroids in the long term, and hopefully help with his glaucoma. Well, Bob, I've got a little tube that blows some fresh air up towards your face. Okay. A lot of people like it once that grape goes on. Right, now, you've got a <laughs> Bob, a lot of times you don't notice until we're done. Yeah. Okay. Right now you got all your uh, adrenaline and everything pumping right. through. Okay. That's why it's part of the deal, right? It, it is. Be compliant. You're right. That's all we ask of you. All right. All right. A oh, familiar eye for a wide for me. Here comes the stair. Okay. Keep it nice and clean. Oh, sorry. Keep your left eye open too. I'll help you with your right eye. Got left eye open. Open wide. Open it real, real wide for me. Uh -huh. I know it's hard. It's coming out your face. Okay. You're doing great. Keep opening, keep opening, keep opening. Okay. And the specula. Retractor. Nice. See some numbing drops. These sting, Bob, and I apologize in advance. Get it cut, cold, wet, and stingy. Now, can you look down to your toes for me? Open up your left eye for me. Now, look down to your toes. There you go. Perfect. Great job. <laughs> right. All right. More of a challenge than that one for search. Uh-huh. Are we going to look lower? Mm -hmm. I think that's fine, right? Yeah, sight is so important to all of us. Um, you know, I asked. I once asked Dr. Price. I said, "What what would happen in the old days, Dr. Price?" And he said, "Well, frankly, you would have gone blind, Bob, and it would have been painful. And to have my sight restored is is truly a blessing." How we doing? Perfect. Good. Dr. Price's reputation is uh, is global. Um, I've I've talked with people in the in the lobby of the Price Vision Group who have come from Saudi Arabia uh, um, uh, specifically to work with Dr. Price. So, um, so that gives me tremendous assurance, tremendous comfort that um, um, the surgery is being performed by 
the, the best person there is in the world. You're in very good hands uh, with Dr. Price. He's world renowned. He's, he's extremely talented. He uh, has tremendous uh, intellectual curiosity and uh, actually founded a, a foundation, the Cornea Research Foundation of America, uh, whose sole purpose is to move the science forward. Everything went nicely. We've had a number of surgeries on the And then we'll sit you up, we'll get you something to drink, uh, go over instructions with you, and who's here with you today? Cindy and my wife. Okay, and we'll go over the instructions with them, and then you'll go upstairs to get a pressure check, and then you will be discharged from up there. So what we did was uh, remove his old DSEC graft, which was thicker. It's a little hard pulling it out through the small incision. <clears throat> and then I injected a DMEC graft, which is extremely thin, just 15 microns and I had very little stain on it, so that made it a little difficult to see on the video. But I'm able to do that because we have the intraoperative OCT that allows us to see the shape of the cornea even when the uh, donor's lost all of its stain or has very little like I used in this case. So everything went very nicely. Uh, we got a physician back in the place, got a fairly good air fill, bit of uh, what we call back pressure. He had some pressure from the back pushing things closed a lot. So I didn't totally fill the anterior chamber with air. He may need a little air the next day or two, but we want to try to be as gentle as we can on his glaucoma filter, his trabeculectomy. So uh, it's a bit more of a complicated case than usual, but it went great and uh, hopefully this will give him phenomenal vision. Take this off. Okay. Sorry about the tape. Sure. It's really good. I apologize. How'd you do last night? Oh, it was uh, it was an okay night. I was okay. I was uh, restless. Okay. I was up about every uh, two hours. Did you have to take any Tylenol for pain? Yes, I took Tylenol. Okay. Yes. How are you feeling this morning? Uh, well, no pain, no headaches. Okay. Um. I think the I think the uh, the one positive is uh, the vision in the uh, in the eye is uh, definitely improved. Oh, good, good, uh, good, good. Any light sensitivity? Light sensitivity? Uh huh. Um, yeah, there's there's a little light sensitivity. Now, uh, the the big the big issue is it's just it just feels scratchy. Okay, you know? that's and dryness. That's, that's pretty dryness, normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many fingers? Two. And now? Four. And now. Uh, four. Oh. Um, D, F, G, seven. Good. Morning. Yeah. Hi. Look up. Mm-hmm. And down. Mm-hmm. Go over to the left. Mm-hmm. Over to the right. Straight ahead. Close. I'm going to do the other side as well. Yeah, we might as well. Yeah, might as well. It was 17 yesterday on the other side. I got 34. 34? Yeah. You haven't used your glaucoma drops, though, have you? On that eye? Um, no. <clears throat> 18. And what was that? That's Alpha Gam. Alpha Gam? Yeah. Okay. You want me to hold that first? Yep. 60? You got it. Okay. Is this to try to get the pressure down? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Right now, I think it's probably more of just being right after surgery. A lot of patients right after surgery, the pressure gets high, especially when you have glaucoma and you normally are using a lot of medication and you didn't use them, which we right. tell you not to, right. because we want to kind of see where, where things fall. So I think now that you have drops in, that that will start to come down. Let's hope. Yeah. I'm going to go and give you a drop of limb again, too. I know you normally use it at bedtime, but... Uh -huh. Does that also help with glaucoma? Okay. Yep. Twenty-seven. All right. Mm -hmm. We're moving. That's good. Mm -hmm. So a lot of patients they'll take a towel and roll it up and put it under their neck when they're on their back uh -huh. just to have some support sure. on your neck. Sure. Um, but I don't want you elevated. It's so as parallel as you can be. All right. Uh, the technician said I could use Oasis yes. in 48 hours. What's your take there? When, when could I you start? You could use it now. I could use the it now. The problem is you have so many other drops that you're doing yeah. that it was, you've got to make sure you're waiting 15 minutes between them because the, the medication drops are, are most important. The lubricating drops are, are for more for your comfort. I understand. So a lot of times just using the medication drops, the, that is helping to lubricate it to some extent as well. So if you're able to find time that you can put Oasis in as well, so that, you'd be that's, okay that's with okay. That. Yep. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 good to see you. Sorry. Oh, sorry. How are you doing? Uh, better. Called yeah. up okay? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, you know, yesterday was, was scratchy. Today it just seems a little sore. Let me look at it here. Good. Yeah, it grabs nicely attached. Cornea is nice and clear, crystal clear. This is a 25% air bubble. Okay. We'll just have to watch your pressure because uh, mm -hmm. sometimes the air blocks the drainage area and that causes the filter not to work. Pretty good at getting the drops. <laughs> I can't believe what you did in, I think they said 23 minutes. Oh, see, I don't time it. Look straight ahead, look mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. Straight ahead. Mm -hmm. get real foggy or cloudy, I'd want you to call us. All right. Because that would mean the donor's coming off. Remember, don't rub, don't push. Right. Uh, but so far, it looks perfect. Great. Hello, it's me again uh, with a six-month update. Uh, my vision today is 2025 in the right eye and 2030 in the left eye. I am a very happy camper. As you recall, in December, I had Dr. Price replace my original cornea transplant. Uh, everything was great except the clarity of the vision in the right eye post-surgery uh, uh, wasn't where we thought it needed to be. Um, so through um, the careful diagnosis of Dr. Price and his team, they determined that I needed uh, some laser surgery, which he performed, and within 48 hours, uh, my vision uh, was completely restored. Um, I, I remember the moment when I was driving the car and uh, I all of a sudden looked at the dashboard and it was just crystal clear. So I couldn't be more pleased six month post, uh, post op uh, with the quality uh, of, of my vision and the care that I've received from Price Vision Group. So one of the things I really appreciate about Price Vision Group is the science is grounded in research conducted by the Cornea Research Foundation of America. This partnership has benefited me enormously because, as you know, one of my transplants uh, was replaced by state-of-the-art DEMEC procedure. So what that's been able to do for me is maintain a very high quality of life. I'm retired now, and my wife and I are really enjoying traveling. 
We've recently returned from a trip to Washington State in Oregon where we enjoyed the beauty of our national parks. Um, our daughter is getting married uh, in September. So please understand that every day is a true blessing. To have my sight fully restored, to be able to walk my daughter down the aisle, to travel with my wife to the west, to see God's creation, I am truly a blessed man.